Hi everybody, this is the lesson for Magnetic Fields 3.3. Um, you can see here that you need to complete slides 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 12 slides, but I'll go through what each slide means. You only have to complete 2, 3, 4, and 5. And please watch this entire video because it really is going to, each slide is a little bit different on what you have to do. So for slide 2, um, well, just overall, we are looking at three different claims today, and we're looking at these different pieces of evidence that are coming from the space station that they gave us. So you can look at each card by, um, you can click it, and it will bring you to the slide that the card is, or you can just scroll down here and look at each card. Um, they were too big just to have, you know, little on the screen, so that's why they have their own sides each. So I'll quickly kind of go through each evidence card to give you an idea about what it is telling you, but really it's up to you to figure out which, if it's supporting or not supporting a claim. So card A says the distance between the launcher and the spacecraft in each launch. So we, we already know this, right? Monday was farther apart, Tuesday was closer, and Wednesday was the closest. And as we saw in previous lessons from this week, the closer our magnets get, the faster they're going to go, the more energy will be in the system. Card B um, says the average speed of the spacecraft when launched, so kind of similar to this card here, um, but going a little bit um, more in detail, telling us how much it increased from the previous launch. So on Tuesday, it went 10 meters per second faster than on Monday, and on Wednesday, it went 30 meters per second faster than Tuesday. So that's a, a bigger increase from Tuesday to Wednesday, even though, like we saw here, it's only, right, we went one centimeter closer. We got 10 meters per second faster. We went one centimeter closer, and we got 30 meters per second faster. Um, so try to use what you learned in the past two lessons to figure out why that happened. Card C is the energy used to push spacecraft to final position for each each launch. So if you do have magnets at home um, that can repel each other, I would suggest trying and seeing and being able to feel what it feels like the closer your two repelling magnets get to each other. Um, because you, you'll be able to feel the closer you get, the harder it is to get them or the more energy you need to use to get them closer to each other. So this shows how much energy it's going to take to get them to their positions. Um, card D is simulating the launches like you did yesterday, um, and it's using the strength sensor. So you can review this. Okay, you can see, right, it goes up a little bit from Monday to Tuesday, but that on Wednesday it goes up by a lot. And then the last card, card E, is the energy used to push the spacecraft to its initial position for each launch. Um, and you can look here that it is the same on each day. So look through those, analyze them, put notes down at the bottom if you need to. Um, and then for each claim, so for claim two, all you have to do is if you think card A supports claim two, just come over here and put it in the box. If you think claim card B doesn't, then just leave it off to the side and just put the ones in the boxes that you believe support this claim. That much more energy was in the launcher system on Wednesday than on Tuesday. So if you haven't done the past two lessons, I would stop now and go back and do those because this is what we focused on the last two lessons before this one. Down here, we have a card sort, but this one's a little bit different than in the past. Some of these cards might not um, support either claim, and that's okay. You can just leave them in the middle or delete the cards. So this says, why do the model spacecraft go so much faster than expected on Wednesday? And we've been talking about this the whole entire unit. Um, and yesterday and the past two lessons, we looked at these two claims, um, or not these two, but, but close to this one, but... Uh, because the magnet was stronger or because the magnetic force is stronger closer to the magnets. So um, you can put them under each one. And um, if it doesn't, if some of these cards don't support 
either one, that's okay. Just leave them in the middle or you can delete them. And then you will take a look at all the evidence. And that being said, just a little hint or maybe a little piece of information. Um, it's okay if there's a claim that has no evidence under it. That would mean that we do not have evidence to support that claim and we can refute or go against that claim and then we will um, show that by putting this star here. So um, it could be more than one. That's why there's multiple stars here. So you can do none of the above or whichever claim you think and then just put the star to whatever is refuted or uh, not supported by evidence. Then on slide five, the last slide that I have to complete, I want you to write your final explanation and it's going to be helpful to review the evidence cards, which is eight through 12, or the modeling tool, which is on slide six and seven. So this, um, Technically, you guys were supposed to do this, but I'm just going to explain it for you because um, it's a little bit complicated. So this is just modeling the Tuesday and the Wednesday launch. So you can see here, here's the biggest difference. Um, Tuesday had a strong force. Wednesday was a little bit closer, so it had a really strong force. So when we look at the energy in the system, we have three bars of potential energy here to four bars for the Wednesday launch. So then when they go against each other, we one, one bar from here turns into kinetic energy, whereas two bars will turn into kinetic energy for the Wednesday launch. So this is just showing that there is more energy in the system um, on Wednesday than there was on Tuesday. So use slide six and seven, the modeling tools, and eight through 12, the evidence cards, to complete slide five. And if you need any help, feel free to ask me any questions.